Season 2 is when these series truly begin. And today, we get into Season 2 with the debut of rookie quarterback Brian Petrovsky as we try to take this New York Giants team into a brand new era. Welcome back to the New York Giants Madden 22 Franchise Rebuild. We are starting today's episode by going through the stream I did over the weekend, going through our preseason games and getting some highlights, a first look at some of these players. I have gone through to edit equipment, numbers, and made a couple additions to the team. Third quarterback, Kyle Meyer has been signed. I like having a developmental quarterback on the roster. Low throw power, decent accuracies, maybe a practice squad quarterback this season. And then I signed Mike Purcell to be a backup nose tackle. Have to have at least two D tackles here in Madden, so we make that move. And this defense will see some new starters. Tyler Beltran, the rookie, could be starting at edge rusher opposite Aziz Ojulari. We have a lot to work on with this team, and preseason gives us a little glimpse at what the offseason was able to accomplish. Let's get into this first preseason game. Brian Petrovsky showing off the arm right away. A deep ball to Kenny Galladay inside the 20-yard line. There's a 57-yard connection. We're hoping the offense is more explosive this year. Petrovsky has solid accuracies, a good arm, and can make plays outside the pocket. On this first drive, we went down the field easily and capped it off with a Saquon Barkley touchdown. Let's go to our next possession. Here's Petrovsky with a quick throw, hooking up with tight end Caden Smith. That is one position we'll see if we can find some solutions for this year. And as we drafted two new starters along the offensive line, I really want to see how that opens things up for Saquon Barkley and hopefully just boost the offense as a whole. Although we didn't get like a hidden dev offensive lineman. This was a good first impression with Petrovsky looking confident, aggressive, and we scored a couple quick touchdowns. This gameplay now is with the backups, Daniel Jones at quarterback and rookie fifth round pick Ruben Knight. He played a lot of running back in this game, good carry there on the draw. Daniel Jones was not about to make this a quarterback competition of any kind. Petrovsky separated himself easily within the first preseason game. And defensively, the play of the preseason was made right here. Twice by defensive end Raymond Johnson III. Have you ever seen this before? He comes in to force the fumble on the quarterback who then recovers the football and Johnson knocks it out again and Madden tracked it correctly. Two forced fumbles on one play. That sets up the offense. Kyle Meyer hooks up with Mike Stallworth, the rookie tight end. Another fifth round pick. He scores the touchdown. Later for the Bengals, facing more pressure, here's a sack for Antonio Golson, the fourth round edge rusher, the only hidden dev player I selected in this last draft. We go back to the offense, I wanted to see Ruben Knight get some carries and I felt like we blocked pretty well for him. He broke some tackles in this game and got some yards after contact, I was actually quite impressed. Nice throw on the slant here from Kyle Meyer. Sometimes those quick short throws are difficult for lower rated quarterbacks. And Ruben Knight comes in to cap off the touchdown drive. So some really good offense in this game from the Giants. A lot to like. And some splash moments from the defense. That's Raymond Johnson the third with a pressure and a hit on the quarterback. And we'll end it here with an Aaron Robinson interception. Robinson's our number four corner right now. And those are all my favorite moments from the first preseason game. Raymond Johnson the third definitely stood out. Let's go to game two now. We're playing against the Cleveland Browns, a team that can really test the run defense for New York. And we were like a bottom three run defense team in year one. We do get Blake Martinez back. We draft a brand new nose tackle. Could it make a difference? We'll have to see, but against Cleveland, it did not go well. But they do have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. I'll be more concerned if other teams can duplicate this success without as good of an offensive line. 
What I was impressed by, though, was continuing to see Petrovsky leave the pocket, make these aggressive plays. I felt like he really hit the ground running here, doing a good job and not really making a lot of key mistakes. There were some missed passes, and that'll happen until the accuracies get a little bit better. But it was pretty refreshing to see him find a way to make plays, whether it be throwing on the move or taking off to run. Once again, we're moving down the field with him, and Saquon Barkley caps it off. I hope this offense takes a lot of the pressure off of Barkley. For the defense, more pressure showing up here. Love to see that. Aziz Ojulari. Edge rush and run defense are the areas of concern for the defense. Will those be better? I feel good about the secondary. James Bradbury with good deep coverage here against Odell Beckham. We'll go back to the offense. Here is Petrovsky across the middle, finding Sterling Shepard for a first down. Then he follows it up, doesn't see anything downfield, so takes off, runs past Miles Garrett, and a weird slide actually gave him the first down. And later on the possession, third and two. How about this catch by Shepard in the back of the end zone? All Petrovsky did in the preseason is lead us down the field for touchdown drives. We'll go to game three. Denver Broncos taking on New York and a good run by Javante Williams. Some sloppy tackling up at the top there. Six for 46. I'm worried about this run defense. I do think that we're going to need to see a lot of development there and we're just not going to fix it in one season. We didn't spend our high picks on trying to fix defense. We spent those on offense. So... This is what we're going to end up with. We couldn't make free agent moves. I feel like if we can take this team further than last year, maybe get to like eight, nine wins, start to talk about the wild card conversation, it's going to be because of the offense, not the defense. I don't see them doing enough things well. I'm just hoping that they can be a little bit better. We have a lot of good players there with Leonard Williams, Dexter Lawrence, but on their own, they're not enough to give us a pass rush or a solid run defense. So we're asking a lot of Brian Petrovsky and this offense to have a productive passing game, to hopefully have some better play along the offensive line, and we'll see where that's able to take us. But I feel confident right now in our rookie quarterback, and as this rebuild truly gets underway, that is really the first step, trying to solve the question at quarterback. I don't know if we've done it. The preseason sure makes me feel confident. But let's see where this season actually goes. Give me your expectations down below in the comment section. What do you want to see from the New York Giants here in really the start of the rebuild? I want to see us get to eight wins, play tough against Dallas and the division opponents. And I want to see a few players really stand out to say that they are part of the New York Giants turnaround. Here were the final stats from the preseason with Brian Petrovsky completing 67% of his passes for 7.2 yards per attempt, two touchdowns, one interception. Stats don't always tell the story, but there's definitely enough here to say that he significantly outplayed Daniel Jones, who did not look very good with the second team offense. Saquon Barkley ran for 3.6 yards a carry. He broke eight tackles, 40 yards, 40 of 109 after contact. Can we please open up some running lanes for Saquon Barkley? Ruben Knight, 3.7 a carry. I was impressed with him and the second team offensive line. Like they, they blocked well enough for Ruben Knight and Devontae Booker to produce at this level, but Daniel Jones couldn't find a way to be productive behind them. I get that run blocking and pass blocking aren't the exact same, but we're also deep at receiver. So, yeah, we're probably going to look at trading Daniel Jones, and we'll see if there are any interested teams. Kenny Galladay, 147, 18 yards of reception. Seems like he's going to be perhaps our best downfield receiver. We'll see how much Slayton can get into the mix. Having four receivers contribute can be difficult, but not impossible. Kadarius Tony really didn't get going here in the preseason, but I'm hoping for a large role for him. 
as the season gets underway. For the defense, Darnay Holmes leads us in tackles. Tackles for loss, Antonio Golson, the rookie, had two sacks, five tackles for loss, ten total tackles. We definitely want to find a way to get him some playing time, while we're also going to be playing other young players like Aziz Ojulari, and then also Tyler Beltran. I'm not seeing his stats here. He had to have recorded something, right? Five tackles. Overall, not bad pass rush. I felt like the first team did a good job in the preseason. Lawrence, Ojulari, Leonard Williams all had an impact there. For interceptions, we had a few. We do need to cut four players. We'll play Steven Sullivan on the practice squad, along with Justin Lewis, Cam Brown, and DiCaprio Boodle. We will be signing Tyson Williams to the practice squad. We actually don't have the cap space to put him on the active roster, so I might want to make some room to get him there, but for now, to the practice squad he will go I'd also like to add Lynn Bowden jr. to the practice squad he's a really versatile player I know he was drafted and then traded that was a really weird move but he does have some versatility might be a better fit at running back I do like Jawan Johnson and I'd like him on the practice squad we'll add a nose tackle to the practice squad as well CJ Anderson and with that, the final roster is now set. A lot of new rookies getting a chance to play. We're going to start three rookies on offense. I did move Basley to guard and Adkins to tackle. So we drafted Adkins to be a guard, but I, I just felt like looking at the ratings, he fits better at tackle, 89 strength, better pass blocker than run blocker, solid athlete. And then Basley, I felt like he could play either spot, but I'll be playing him at guard. Here is a complete look at the practice squad, and let's just see what Lynn Bowden's ratings are if you move him to running back. He does have the receiving ability. He probably has the halfback pass ability. He had to do everything for Kentucky in his last season through a game-winning touchdown in their bowl game. And at running back, his rating becomes a 76. I don't know if he'd last on the practice squad. We have a deal with the LA Chargers, sending Devontae Booker to them for a seventh round pick, opening up the cap space to bring Lynn Bowden to the active roster. We already had a couple players signed from our practice squad, including Justin Lewis, like the 61 overall center. So, week one, here we go. I said I wanted to see us play well against Dallas. We are wasting no time before getting a chance to play them. Of course, Brian Petrovsky is going to start day one, making his debut. And we've seen in the past that it can be tough for rookies early on. What are you expecting? I'm expecting a great performance. Expectations are high. He was a first round pick. Beat the Cowboys and throw for 300 yards. I wish it was 300 total, because I don't see him getting a 300 passing. Unless it's like a huge shootout and it's going to take uh, a ton of offense to win the game. We had a camp standout scenario play out as well, and this is for Aziz Ojulari, a player who is pretty key this year for the defense as the number one edge rusher. He had his flashes in the preseason, and we could definitely use a good start to the season from him. We're going to spend our points here on the head coach, Russ Watson. I'm trying to get down to this talent so we can increase the XP gain for quarterback. I uh, have not yet found XP sliders that I want to use. I know with the talent trees and these abilities here, it might make that a little more challenging. But uh, I'll get that taken care of, and I want to get to this boost anyway. 
We're not going to get into a lot of stuff about the upcoming draft in this episode. We'll save that for next time. But here is a brief look at the top of the class. We have a couple quarterbacks here with top five projections, a couple of guards as well, three offensive linemen here in the first six, and three quarterbacks in the first seven players. And here he is, ready to make his NFL debut, Ryan Petrovsky, the first draft pick of this rebuild. Do we have the right quarterback on this roster to turn this Giants team around? We got quite the challenge here in week one going up against Dallas, and I like, you know, getting this test early in the season and seeing what this team can do against a really loaded offense and an improved defense. We'll have to wait a little while to see Petrovsky make his first NFL throw. For now, it's the defense facing Dak Prescott. Throwing on the first play of the season, and Prescott off the mark! He's intercepted! We're going back the other way! A big start for the Giants! A pick six! No way! Logan Ryan puts points on the board, and the wait to see Brian Petrovsky will continue. I think Dak just flat out missed that throw. He's trying to go across the middle. Let's check it out from this angle. Yeah, wide open. He's not going underneath though. He's trying to hit Amari Cooper and Cooper, you know, does get open here. Nice play by Logan Ryan and a huge start for the Giants. Cowboys start drive number two. Prescott steps up. This time he does connect with Amari Cooper. It's good for 13. Play fake for Prescott. And now working to his left. The off-balance throw is caught. C.D. Lamb. Now they run it for the first time. And our game plan today is about stopping the run and not letting Ezekiel Elliott take over this game. We don't want to put teams in a situation where they can just run it all day. Second down for Prescott. We got a little pressure there, and the deep ball is incomplete. Third and four. Showing some pressure, and we only send four. Dak steps up. Pressure in his face. He's hit down. It's Lawrence. Williams was there as well. Well, a lot of big plays already made by those with the biggest contracts on defense. They're attempting a 59-yard field goal right here. I don't know about this one. Nope, not even close. Definitely need to see updates here to the kicking logic. Like, if they're going to end up this far short... Just punt the ball if it's the first quarter. Also, Greg Zerline, I thought had way more kick power than that. I haven't messed with the kick power slider, but it seems like the simmed kicks are terrible distance-wise. Anyway, welcome to the Brian Petrovsky era. And right away, he throws incomplete there in traffic to Galladay. And Will Hernandez is already out of the game. A injury off the ball here, and we'll run it for the first time. Not much there for Saquon Barkley. It's a third and seven for the Giants. Kadarius Toney going to play a lot in the slot. We have so much receiving talent. And Petrovsky off balance, throws a deep ball off the hands of one defender, and then dropped by Trayvon Diggs. That is about the most unrealistic thing, and we've seen a few things in the last two minutes that were a little bit weird. Good work, boy. Let's go. Not a good start in this game for the forward pass. Cowboys take over. It's their third drive already. Ojulari applied a little bit of heat there, but it's going to be caught for a first. Play fake for Dallas. They want to go deep here. Just kidding. Dumped off. Prescott for a first down. Hand off, Elliott breaks the tackle up to the 40-yard line. Not much there. Third and seven, setting up the screen. Zeke can't get away, and he's taken down by Bradbury. 
So they missed the 59 shorts. Well, 57 is a little bit closer. Zerline short again. See, the logic also needs to know, like, hey, I missed this kick by eight yards. Let's not try a kick. There's no reason to think I would make. All right, let's get back into it now. Oh, no, 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 no. I just skipped the whole touchdown drive. I forgot that there are a lot of uh, super sim issues, specifically after missed field goals. That's my bad. Oh, man, I hate missing action like that. And now I have the super sim bug, so I can't back out to see how we scored. Sorry about that. On the next drive, hopefully we see the stats. Dak off balance, cross body, cross field. All right, the gameplay today has been terrible. I don't know what's happened recently, but this is sloppier than anything I've done to this point. And it wasn't the touchdown drive I missed. It was just the short field goal, actually. I forgot we had the pick six. Graham Gano hit a 55-yarder. It allowed me to back out there. So we did not miss, like, Petrovsky's first touchdown or anything notable. But we're up 10-0. Pretty dominant start here for the New York Giants. Little pump fake and a draw play that we're all over. So the way I have it set up here is Tyler Beltran's going to play a lot with the base defense. But Golson's going to be out there as a pass rusher in the nickel and dimes, so... That should split up the snaps pretty well. And Golson rates much better as a pass rusher anyway. Third and nine. He's top of the screen as they throw a screen. And Leonard Williams ends the play. We're seriously going to do this again, though. Come on with the field goal logic here. Three short misses in the first quarter. This is why I'm doing one franchise. We get into this next Giants possession after the third missed field goal. And Brian Petrovsky completes the pass. We have a first down going to Kyle Rudolph. Little play action now. Petrovsky across the middle. It's Kenny Galladay. And the first touchdown pass of Petrovsky's career. You know, I always look for quarterbacks in these rebuilds to make those decisive, aggressive throws like that. I knew something good was going to happen there. He's throwing that right at the top of his drop. That's a real good start. Still a lot of game left, but the Cowboys have had a miserable first quarter. A pick six, three missed field goals. They haven't played... Great defense or anything. Oh, look, the handoff to a tight end that gets two yards. Prescott. The ball is out and complete to Amari Cooper. Prescott's nine for 12. They haven't done much to run the ball, though, and that was kind of our game plan coming into this. Prescott open. Cooper with nobody getting any sort of pass rush there we dropped eight on first down which I don't like it's not the big 12 10 and a half minutes to go now in the first half Cooper's already at 77 yards Prescott dumps it off if he had thrown it behind the tight end that time I think it was picked again now they go to Zeke trying to get outside and Martinez is ready we didn't have him for any of season one I think he'll make a difference for us against the run. Third and three. Prescott almost picked off by Martinez. Now covering Ezekiel Elliott. And interesting. Now they're choosing to punt on a 54-yard try. The field did flip. I don't know what the wind is here, but at least they didn't miss a fourth unmakeable kick for them. But now we're backed up. This is where those weak offensive lines really stand out. Can you get us some breathing room here? Not on this play. Hands off. It's Saquon Barkley up to the nine. 
And on third and four, Petrovsky. Oh, he's going down, and I can't believe it's not a safety. Micah Parsons made the play. We got lucky. The punt is away cleanly, although it looked like he clipped into the punt protector. Cowboys have it at the 47. Prescott hands it to Elliott, and again, good play. Lawrence is there, Peppers as well. Only nine rushing yards in this one for Dallas. Luke Pope in the middle. Definitely want to keep some attention on him to see how he performs today. Third and three. Seems like this has to be a passing down today for the Cowboys. And again, they're in like missing the field goal range. They'll run it though. And again, the play is made. Pope is there. Really good fill as well by McKinney. Okay, they got to go for it now. Like all the fourth down logic here. They've made at least four or five bad fourth down calls today. 17-0. Still in control. Petrovsky dumps it off. There's Kadarius Tony, Hoping to see a lot more of him this year. Neither team doing much with the running game here in the first half. Little play action. Petrovsky throwing it to Galladay. Now he separates to the 40. Can they catch him? Galladay to the 10. And stopped at the 5-yard line. Over-aggressive defenders give up a lot of yards in this game. 68 there to Kenny Galladay. And it could have been a much shorter gain here. But defenders are always going for the pick. Whether they're in front of the receiver, in good position. In this case, I can't even fault the defender for trying there. He just ends up being a little too late to the ball. And Galladay flashes some speed here. Very nice catch and run. Let's extend this lead. Can we get that first touchdown pass? Or actually second for Petrovsky the pistol formation running it and did he get in I don't think so might be a tough yard here with our offensive line and we'll run it Barkley breaks the tackle and breaks the plane huge lead in week one for the New York Giants I'm still not getting too comfortable 24-0. Things look good for now. Cowboys have it. Prescott spins. Oh, boy. That's a catch and run. Inside and a big opening. The first one for Elliott. And he gets drilled by Peppers as Ojulari is now coming out of the game. This could be a very big week for injuries, depending on the severity. I want to check on the Hernandez injury. Good run again here, Elliot. Will Hernandez is out for the game, but Aziz Ojulari, they're calling it a torn labrum, which in Madden isn't the most serious injury. That might just be a couple weeks, which would mean that the rookies are going to play a lot. Running inside on third and inches. The play is made. There's Beltran. The Cowboys keep getting forced to fourth down as soon as they cross midfield. And they have to punt it again. Or they could go for it. Like, especially with that trend this year in the NFL, that's got to be updated to the logic here for the AI. And that was a fourth down that teams have been going for for a while. But I think it's even more magnified now where, like, even if in that situation it's fourth and six, teams might go for it in the first half. Not the Vikings or the Seahawks. They will never do that. But teams that, you know, have good offensive coaching will. Second and six for the Giants as we take over, trying to add on even more before the break. Petrovsky gets out of there, and now he runs it to the 24. Quick throw from Petrovsky, and the sure-handed Kyle Rudolph has a conversion. 
Petrovsky to the outside. Nice catch. It's Shepard. Thought that might be overthrown at first. Shepard may have saved it from Trayvon Diggs. 55 seconds on the clock. One timeout remaining, and Petrovsky gets himself into trouble on this one. Doesn't have to break the pocket like that. I think he had a chance to step up. Loss of 11 and probably not getting anything here. He's trying. A bit overthrown. Third and 21. I say just lob it up there. You know Kenny Galladay is going to be deep downfield with a chance. Petrovsky running this one to the end of the half. But first, we're going to attempt a 64-yard field goal. How will this even reach the end zone? It does, but it's no good. A lot to like so far from the New York Giants. 24-0, and maybe they're not done there. Let's jump into this drive. We've taken it into Dallas territory again. feel like we haven't had too many three and outs. A very refreshing start to the season. Petrovsky away from the pressure. And then throws it away. Second down. That one is off the mark now. 11 for 17 passing. And third and 10. We are in field goal range here. Cowboys sending four. Petrovsky. Nice throw. Rudolph inside the red zone. Petrovsky over 200 yards passing. One of our goals is 275. Those will be important for developing our coaches and getting those staff points. 11 yards out now. It's a new set of downs. And Petrovsky bailing outside. Back across his body. Caught by Rudy. Five yards out. Rudolph was open. Petrovsky's running this one. He'll get the touchdown. Diving in for six. Brian Petrovsky, everybody. If this is truly a sign of things to come, Giants football is going to be a lot more fun. Oh, nice move by Zeke to start this drive. Dallas is not giving up on the running game, down 31-0. Zeke once again. Uh-oh, that's not good. Leonard Williams now is going to come out of the game. That would be a major blow to the defense. So they start the drive here with a couple runs, and now incomplete for Cooper. Dak on third and 10 to the outside with it, and first down to the 43. Dallas is going play action on third down. Prescott not going to run for it, and the tight end did not see the ball. Looks like it'll be an easy win for the Giants here in week one, and I can't back out of this, so just going to watch the rest of it and see if anything interesting happens. Nice play there by Tony. Good throw once again, connecting with Rudolph Petrovsky up to 243 in the air. Again, complete to Galladay. What's he at in this game? He's got most of the yardage. Kenny Galladay, three for 93. Okay, never mind. Felt like it might be more. Whoa. Barkley hit down. From the 27 now, it's Rudolph. And another huge hit delivered by Keanu Neal. Back-to-back -back plays. I got to say, this offense looks really, really good with Petrovsky. On first down, he's going to the goal line, and it's Galladay at the one. All righty, 277. That goal is out of the way. How about two touchdowns? Or actually, they have 300 yards as a game day goal there. Oh, my. I thought maybe the defender took the ball there. 
Wait, he's already down! No penalty, apparently. Second and goal. 18 seconds left to play in the third quarter. We run it. Barkley dives in for the touchdown. And Galladay got shaken up right there at the very end. Uh-oh, pressure on Prescott, and he is sacked the first in the career of Tyler Beltran. Is Dallas going to score in this game? It's currently 38-0. Prescott hesitates, hits it off the helmet of Golson, and he's hurt. Are you kidding me? Did he just get hurt by the ball hitting him? Oh, actually, he could have had, you know... That could have been an injury from being engaged with a blocker there. But uh, they don't show the effects of an injury until the end of a play. I think I remember like NFL game day back in the day. Like when a player had a hamstring pull, you'd like see it happen. Ooh, sailed that one. Bradbury makes the play. There have been some games where like when a player is injured on the play, you'll see it during the play. Prescott on third down, gets the pass away as he's hit again. Fourth down now for the Cowboys. I wish I could like back out of this to sub out a lot of players. I guess I could if I dashboard out of here. Just never want to mess anything up. Oh, 38-0 is the time to get tricky, and it's a first down to Kenny Galladay. This team's unstoppable today. Four touchdowns, no field goals here in the red zone. That's a recipe for success. 7.25 to go. Watch out, Petrovsky. Running this to the left side, and Barkley, he might get a conversion here! Forget that! It's a touchdown! Dallas didn't even show up here in this game. This is one of the most dominant games in any of my rebuilds, and it's like the first real game. This is unbelievable. Yeah, this one's over. It's going to get even worse. Another pick six for Prescott. Aaron Robinson to the end zone. This is one of the most lopsided games I've ever had. And it makes no sense. That's another sack. It's going to be Blake Martinez picking this one up. Another sack here for Tyler Beltran. His second to this game. And now Zach Martin's going to leave with an injury. Well, it doesn't really get more dominant than that. 52 to nothing. Never seen anything like it here in any of my rebuilds. To come out on the first play of the game, score a pick six, and have that just be the start of the most dominant game perhaps we'll ever have. Barkley ran for three touchdowns, 110 yards. Petrovsky, 277 passing. We had Kyle Rudolph play really well today. I felt like Galladay looked really good as well. And the defense had a lot of key plays too with four sacks, two going to Tyler Beltran, the rookie. Lots of tackles for loss, two pick sixes. We certainly raised the bar pretty high here in week one. Cowboys, one for 12 on third down, like the Vikings on Sunday Night Football. We were three for eight, but it clearly didn't matter. Five for five in the red zone, getting touchdowns, two defensive scores. You get it.
Brian Petrovsky didn't light up the stat sheet like you had hoped. All right, come on now. We don't need to uh, worry about if he had good numbers in a 52 to nothing win. And by the way, he did have pretty good numbers. Only a thousand XP though for him. Here's the scenario for Aziz Ojulari who left with an injury. So he did not have the big performance, unfortunately. Nothing more to add on to that scenario, it appears. One new injury, it's saying, and it's the labrum injury. Aziz Ojulari is going to miss four games, and the rest of the players seem to be good to go going forward. Well, that's quite the way to start the season. I don't think we'll be able to do that again. And next episode, we'll take a look at the new draft class and get our plans started for that. And then take the field again to see if the Giants being a good team is a fluke. Or what the case is here in Season 2. Leave your thoughts down below. What did you think of that win? Can't wait to see what you have to say. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll be back again with the Giants soon. Have a great day, everybody.